do you know? MetaQuest 3 has a 3D camera built in, allow you to capture high quality 4K 3D video directly inside the MetaQuest 3. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to enable this hidden feature and how to capture stable mixed reality 3D videos to release on YouTube VR, just like this one. If you're a VR video game content creator and trying to break through the noise, 3D gameplay videos in mixed reality will give you a competitive edge. If you are a 3D photographer and filmmaker like me, you will learn the best render settings for 3D video. Why wait your Apple Vision Pro if your MetaQuest 3 can already capture spatial video? Let's learn how now. Well, during recording this video, Apple just dropped a major update on iPhone 15 Pro right here. And this is an actual iPhone by the way, just with my really brand new Ziyun portable 20 watt cinema light on top of my iPhone right here. It turned it into a cinema camera. Now we can capture spatial video directly on this iPhone for Apple Vision Pro. It's kind of a big deal. So how does it compare to spatial video on the MetaQuest 3? Well, lucky you, we are going to discuss it in this video as well. Okay, no time to waste. Let's write some command line codes and enable all the hidden camera feature that Meta don't want you to know. First, make sure you enable developer mode. It's very easy. Just go to this URL right here and sign up to be a Meta developer. It is 100% free and unlock all the powerful feature MetaQuest has to offer including using sidequests and playing thousands of VR games that are not currently on the MetaQuest store. Next, go on your MetaQuest mobile app, find your Quest 3 here under Devices, go to Headset Settings and enable Developer Mode. Do you feel like a hacker now? If you are new to these advanced techniques and want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe to me and Kimchi and give this video a like. Now, go ahead and connect your MetaQuest 3 to your PC or Mac using a USB-C cable. Make sure to use the USB-C cable come with your Quest 3 if the connection is not stable. On PC, it's really easy. Just go ahead and install ADB Android Platform 2 and SideQuest. Both are free and you are ready for the next step. For Mac, it's a little bit more work, but don't worry, I will break it down for you here. First. Download SideQuest here, install it, and connect your Quest 3. Follow the on-screen instruction to enable the connection. You can even remember this computer so you don't need to convert it next time inside the headset. A very time-saving feature compared to Android file transfer. Now, hold down Command plus Spacebar to bring up your search bar, type in Terminal, and open Terminal Command. Copy and paste these two lines of code one by one to install Homebrew Package Manager and ADB. Type in ADB devices on your terminal after installation. You should be able to see your MetaQuest 3 now. Great! Now, type in this five line of command line one by one to enable hidden feature. On PC, you can just use SideQuest to do so. On Mac, you can keep using the terminal command line to enable feature one by one. I provide all the command line code in the description down below for free. Show some love by dropping me and Kimchi a thank you comment down below. Let me explain each line and what it does. Line 1 enable left and right eyes capture, which make your capture video 3D. Line 2 set the width to 3840, and line 3 set the height to 1920, which is 4K. Line 4 set your frame rate to 30 frames per second. This creates a smooth capture without frame dropping. You can also experiment and set the value to 1, which capture the frame rate to match your gameplay settings. If you are playing a VR game in 120Hz refresh rate, it will try to capture a 120 frame per second. Pretty nut. You can also add two more lines of codes here to lock the refresh rate and and the frame rate to 72 frames per second. This technically gives you 60 frames per second capture, the best of both worlds. Last night, set your video bit rate to 40 megabit per second, which is the maximum capture quality without crashing your Quest 3. You can even do 45, but I am not recommended. 
I did not come up with all this. They are all in the official MetaQuest documentation right here. So read more here and customize your capture setting to your liking. You can optional also enable image stabilization within your MetaQuest 3 under setting and camera. I don't suggest moving your head that much during capture to avoid making your viewer motion sick in VR. Later on, I will teach you how to use a handy leveler system, just like this one you see right here, or on the Canon R5C to help you level your shot to create amazing VR video every time you shoot, so your capture can look professional. Keep watching. Okay, now you can simply hold down the meta button and the trigger button together and hold it for two seconds to start video recording. Hold down the meta button again and the trigger button together again for another two seconds to stop recording. The 4K 3D video will be in your Oculus folder under video shots. After I finish the tutorial, OpenPC Review launched a similar tutorial and his method is a lot simpler. All you need to do is enable developer mode, plug in your Quest 3, run some bad files and you are done. I provide the link down below as well if you want the easy way out. Still, it will help a lot if you understand what each line of code does as your VR game might be more resource hungry and with such a high resolution and high frame rate, you will experiencing job frame. As a content creator, you should always balance the quality and the smoothness. If your recording is glitchy, it's time to drop the resolution, turn down the frame rate value to zero, and reduce the bit rate to 30 megabits per second to have a better recording and gameplay experience for yourself and for your viewers. You cannot watch this 3D video natively on your MetaCraft 3 unless you use third-party player like Skybox VR. Inside Skybox, you will need to go to Advanced Setting, turn on full SBS matching to make sure the 3D video is playing correctly in one by one ratio. So if you want to release this video on your 3D TV, YouTube VR and MetaQuest TV, you will need to do extra editing and 3D meta injection. Luckily, this tutorial will also teach you how to edit 3D video in your favorite editing software. But before that, let me share some tips and tricks for capturing the best 3D video without making your viewer motion sick. When filming in 3D, the most important principle is to keep your camera as level as possible without any tilting. When you are inside MetaQuest 3, it is really hard to tell if your headset or your head is level. There is a third party app that will help you to do so. Meet Immerse Gallery on App Lab. It is not a free app, but if you are into 3D photography, you probably already have it as Immerse Gallery is the best VR 180 and 3D photo app on the MetaQuest ecosystem. Inside Immerse Gallery on Quest 3, go to Settings, Advanced 3D Camera Menu and enable it. You will also be able to see your recording video setting right here. Very handy feature. Hide the menu, you'll be able to capture your 3D video. Press the trigger button will bring up the leveler for 3 seconds. Use it to get a perfect level image before capturing your video. When you combine this technique with image stabilization, you will get a really smooth 3D video. These are features that I wish Kendall Ego could have. You can also capture 3D photo and view them directly inside Immerse Gallery without any extra work. Now, move all the 3D video to your computer and use your favorite editing software to assemble the edit. I use DaVinci Resolve here, but you can also use Premiere or Final Cut Pro. Then, render out ProRes 422 video in 3840 by 1920 4K video. Now, it is the most important part. You need to inject 3D metadata to tell your 3D TV or platforms like YouTube VR or MetaQuest TV you are uploading a 3D video. So, the video will work on your 3D TV like here in red and cyan anagraph mode and inside MetaQuest 3 using YouTube VR, MetaQuest TV or Skybox VR player. To do that, you will need FMPEG. If you don't have FMPEG, 
please follow this tutorial here to install it. It is the single most important piece of free software to encode immersive media. There is no excuse not to master it. PC, you can simply type in CMD in your address bar to enter command line. Mac, make sure you are CD into the folder where your render video file located. Then copy and paste this command line right here. Replace the input file name .mov to your video file. Aspect ratio is one to one here, so it is one. This is also important for Minecraft 3 as it's currently only allow you to capture one by one 3D video in 4K. This command do not transcode your video file. MKV file is the highest quality method without any encoding of the original progress file. This keep the highest quality of your original source video without in the best image quality video on YouTube and inside Minecraft 3. If this does not work for you, you can also try this command line here to transcode it into H.264. It will lose quality but with a wider comp compatibility, especially for 3D TV world. Try both to see which one works best for your setup and comment your setup down below. If you appreciate the depth of my tutorial, left no stone unturned, please subscribe and give kimchi a like. We really appreciate your support and it wouldn't be us if it's not for you. You are technically our boss. So boss, give us a like. Now set up the video back into your MetaQuest 3 for local viewing or upload it directly on YouTube. If you are on M1, M2 or M3 Mac, Silo might not work correctly with Android file transfer. So I highly, highly recommend using SideQuest. Not only does it remember your computer, it also faster in transferring files and it is 100% free. There is one problem though. After you transfer your video file back onto the movie folder or any folders, it will refresh the library in your local Quest 3 hard drive. So open up terminal again or use ADP2 inside SideQuest if you are on a PC. Copy and paste another magic line of code to force your MetaQuest 3 to do a hard refresh. Boom! Now all the new video files are on your Quest 3 without the need to restarting your Quest 3. And I just saved you another 5 minutes. Write this tip down and impress your friends next time when you see them try to like silent the video onto the headset. The new video file will play on any player automatically. No more hack is needed. If you upload on YouTube, it will also play on any 3D TV. So you don't need a VR headset to showcase your amazing 3D video. MetaQuest 3 in here will just be your new 4K 3D camera. And the whole family can enjoy it together during this holiday season. You know what is even better during the holiday season? Well, saving money doing Black Friday for a new 360 camera. If you watch that far, check out some secret links down in the description down below for some crazy discount on installed 360 X3, one S1 in 360, and the Go 3. It might sell out before Black Friday, so hurry up. Oh, if you are wondering this mannequin head right here and what is my MetaQuest 3 movie setup, this is the brand new Cyber Elite Strap and Neck Battery for Quest 3. It is the only battery I found on the internet or on Amazon that work, and it works forever. And you need an Elite Strap if you are planning to use your Quest 3 for long hours. This is the most affordable one compared to the official one which costs a fortune. In other major news, Apple just launched iOS 17.2 beta on iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max to enable spatial video capture. But the spatial video is only limited to 1080p in 30 frames per second, and it is compressed HDVC, no Apple RAW. It does not have any manual camera setting. Here is the left eye compare. Left is my iPhone 15 Pro Max capture, and the right is the MetaQuest 3 3D camera capture. What do you think? Comment below. It is an exciting world for 3D photographer and videographer with all this affordable new method to capture stereo 3D or spatial video. We don't know if you can actually have six stop movement on the spatial video on the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, so far, the answer is actually no. But 
all of this new matter has depth data from the LiDAR right here or from the depth sensing camera on the Quest 3. So it is very interesting to find out what is the next for immersive storytelling. Will Spatial define the new standard? Will AI can estimate depth to provide 6 degrees of freedom movement inside VR headset? Well, lots of questions and as a reporter and camera technician, Kimchi and I are here to find out the answer for you. If you work for Apple, uh, please hit me up so I can try out your fancy Vision Pro. I think my feedback or collective wisdom of all our viewers will be really helpful for all these tech giants moving forward. Do you agree? If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to learn how to capture spatial video with your iPhone right here, check out this short tutorial right here. If you are looking for some high production value 3D VR 1D video to watch, check out this amazing playlist right here. And I will see you in the metaverse. Ciao.